So I always recommend set a super short timer. Like, I don't know what you think a super short timer, but maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes Mm -hmm. Um, for a young child, two, three minutes. Um, But actually use a timer, set a timer. Um, And, and then just tell yourself like, when that's done, give yourself permission to stop. If you want, possibly once your 10 minutes are up, you'll be like, uh, I can do one more yeah. or I can keep going on this a little bit longer and then set another timer. Um, I just think, cause part of, part of what's people who have, um, brains that have executive function challenges with time, sometimes they, they don't feel time either. Like, I don't know what 10 minutes even feels like. Mm-hmm. So that's why an actual timer has to be set because I don't feel 10 minutes is so setting an actual timer. Oh, okay. Well that's 10 minutes because it's set right here on the timer. Um, and you know, that's another, there's a, um, a really great strategy for doing boring tasks called the Pomodoro method. I don't know if you've heard of this before, but it's, it's involving (laughs) Pomodoro means tomato in Italian. Some Uh Italian dude came up with this, but it's kind of like a, um, I think it's used in the business world. Um, quite a lot, but I recommend it a lot, which is like setting a timer. I think he says 25 minutes on and then five minutes off. So like you, you say to yourself, I'm going to do those music notes, music therapy notes for 25 minutes. And then I set an actual five minute timer. I stand up, I go somewhere, but not like scroll your phone five minutes. (laughs) Um, It has to be kind of like movement or get a cup of tea or a snack or um, restorative. And then get back to work. So the way he talks about it is like 25 on, five off, 25 on, five off, 25.